Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. So E3 2021 has just happened, tons of awesome games were announced and a bunch more received some exciting new updates. I thought it would be fun to go and see which ones were made with Unity. There's quite a lot of them and they're all very unique. So it's always great to see what the engine can do so you know the only limits are really just your own imagination. One of the more gorgeous looking ones is Replaced. This was announced during the Xbox showcase. It's got this super high definition pixel art look. Some gorgeous lighting in a 3D world coupled with some great pixel art really makes this utterly gorgeous. It's a side-scrolling steampunk action game, so you've got guns, you've got swords, climbing, platforming and so on. I really want to play this just to spend some time analyzing exactly how they achieved this gorgeous look. Surprise, motherfucker! Then, not a new game, but a new update. Escape from Tarkov is getting a new map. This game is probably the best example of just how good Unity can look in a realistic setting. The new update takes place in an urban environment. Lots of streets and apartments you can enter into in order to find some loot. Looks gorgeous during the day, and then when the sun goes down, the flashlights and gunfire really light up the room. You've got tons of destruction, tactics, and high-powered firefights. This really is one of the best looking realistic Unity games. For something a bit more jolly, Two Point Campus was announced during the Summer Game Fest showcase. This is from the same devs that made Two Point Hospital. That game was a great revival of the old school Bonefrog games, and this new one is taking the same charm and applying it to a university campus. So again, lots of silly puns and things you can do. For example, you have a night school, which, yep, it means actual nights in your school. So it's all very silly, all in great fun. If you enjoy Two Point Hospital, you'll certainly enjoy this one. Another one announced during the Xbox Showcase, Somerville. This is from the new studio of one of the co-founders of Playdead. They're the ones who made Limbo and Inside, and you can definitely see the resemblance. You've got a very spooky world and a bunch of sci-fi aliens. This one appears to be more focused on having companions and family, so a bit less lonely than those other two games. My constant thought while watching this trailer was just please don't hurt the dog. So let's see what happens with that one. Tag team. I'm in. Endless Dungeon got a new gameplay trailer. This is from a very accomplished studio that already made tons of excellent games, and all of them made with Unity. It's a roguelite tactical action game, you can play solo or with some friends. You plunge into an abandoned space station and protect your crystal against a never-ending wave of monsters. Lots of gorgeous particle effects and tons of action. Then during the Summer Game Fest show, there was an entire publisher announced, Prime Matter. They showcased a bunch of games, and they even made a trailer specifically to highlight which ones of their games were made with Unity. So they are Iron Harvest, a classic RTS game set in an alternate reality in the 1920s, tons of huge mechs and lots of units. Encased, which is a tactical sci-fi RPG, create your character, gain some experience and gather some loot. Crossfire Legion, which is a brand new RTS being built by the same makers of Homeworld 3. Wasteland 3, which is a critically acclaimed post-apocalyptic strategy RPG. Outward, which is an open-world survival game. And finally, Phoenix Point, which is an XCOM-like, made by one of the original XCOM developers, where you fight an invasion in gorgeous and gory turn-based battles. So, a lot of variety made with Unity, all of it just from one publisher. Another announcement during the Xbox showcase was Slime Rancher 2. It's the sequel to the excellent original game. Continue the adventure in a new land brimming with ancient mysteries and bursting with brand new slimes for you to play with. I still haven't played the original, but I've heard nothing but great things about it, so more Slime Ranger sounds like great news. By the way, if you find the video helpful, please hit the like button, it's a tiny thing but it really does help, thanks. During the Devolver Showcase, we saw Wizard with a Gun, I love a good descriptive name. You play as a wizard and you have a gun. It's a multiplayer survival adventure game, seems to be in the vein of something like Don't Starve, Use your guns to destroy enemies, but also to build fortifications to keep you and your buddy safe. Features some great cartoony visuals with a nice mix of 2D and 3D. 
Another update is Naraka Blade Point. They announce a new weapon, the Chainsaw, and it's having a full release later this August. It's a melee based 60 player action battle royale. Lots of mobility, parkour and grappling hooks with a great cast of characters with powerful abilities. They've been doing public and private betas which have been insanely successful so I'm sure there's a lot of people looking forward to this full release. Welcome back to Shredageddon, here's a new trick, let's go! For some sports, we saw Shredders during the Xbox Showcase. It's a snowboarding game, all about sliding down mountains and doing tons of tricks. The snow looks great as it gets deformed and the animations are all incredibly smooth. So if you're looking for a snowboard focused game, then this one is perfect for you. It's coming out on December 21. Some more gorgeous pixel art in a 3D world with Songs of Conquest. This one was shown during the PC gaming show. It's very reminiscent of Heroes Might and Magic. Play around in the world map, build your village and recruit some heroes, then take your heroes and jump into some turn-based battles to defeat your enemies. It looks very good. Another one announced during the Devolver Digital was Death's Door. It's an isometric top-down action game, really polished movement and combat, it looks like the game feels great to play, you've got tons of flashy effects and some cool moves. So jump around, use your grappling hook, dodge all kinds of enemy attacks, and take them out with your own. Alright, so beyond that there were a bunch more Unity games showcased. There was a brief mention of Humankind, which is a 4x game coming soon. 12 minutes continues to be very mysterious. Party Animals also showed up, one of the most wishlisted games on Steam. Genshin Impact, also made with Unity, also received a brand new update, and a bunch of others. Alright, so this was a fun video to make. It's always great to look at some awesome games and identify which ones were made with Unity. As you can see, there's tons of variety, so the engine can really build anything your mind can think of. You can build something realistic like Escape from Tarkov, or something jolly and cartoony like Two Point Campus. The only limit is really just your own imagination. Alright, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.